So you want to take your nicest pair of scissors you have, your nicest pair of shears, because you want this to be the nicest, cleanest, sharpest cut you have. And you don't want to lay your dress down on the table. You want to you want to hang your dress high. Um, you actually want to have like a hangy chain or something you can hang your dress up on um, when you when you want to do blazing short cuts like this. Because when you do short cuts like this, um, it has to be on a nice angle. And you want to be able to really see up close to what you're doing. Because sometimes when you're on the table, you can't really get that even sharp cut like you want. Okay. So, what you want to do is come a little closer and you can see that this has to be cut precisely, okay? Precisely. This is a wedding dress, okay? And you have to have your sharpest scissors. And with this one, you do want to cut right at the bottom of the pen. And you want to leave, because by it being tool and you want it to be long enough. You know, you rather, you do want the tool to be on the longer end. And you want it to be, you don't want it to be choppy. So, you just want to take your time. But you want to take your time. And you just want to go as slow and as easy as possible when you do your tool. Okay, take your time and make sure you're right at your mark, whatever that mark is. Like I said, it's tool, and you definitely don't want it to be choppy. You want it to look as smooth as possible. And if it looks choppy, you can go back and refine it a little bit. But you just want it to look nice. And you want it to be as close to your pens because that is where you measure. That's your pen mark. Keep going. And just keep going. This is why you pay a professional to do this. Because this is definitely nothing that you do not want to get yourself into that you don't know what you're doing. gowns cost thousands of dollars so you definitely want to know what you're doing Sometimes I do try to go back and fix the choppiness of it. And if you go back, sometimes it doesn't look the way you want it to look. That's why you gotta just go with your first cut. Okay? Now we're gonna turn it to the back and finish the back. So this is the major cut. This is the major cut right here, cutting off the train. I'm not afraid you guys, I'm going for it. Cutting it off. I'm going for it.
Feet are cut off, I'm cutting it off. Most brides want to keep their trains or they want to bustle it, but this bride wants hers cut off. Boom. No train. Looks good. 